Hi everybody, this is Valerie Dunham, Handmade with Heart, and I am re-unboxing this. I unboxed it tonight for the first time, but I have been having camera issues all night. It's just been a mess, so hopefully third, fortieth time is the charm. We'll see. Okay, tonight I will be unboxing the night, <sighs> sorry, Diamond Art Club's Little Red Riding Hood by Hannah Lynn. I am doing this for two collabs right now. Um, Wolfpack, aka Seth Finney, is doing a wolf along, which has, of course, the big bad little wolves in this. And Mindy's Diamond Moment is doing about a collab about stories and books, and it, it, they're both amazing. So. This one I'm showing you right now, if you're new to diamond painting, is a sticker that comes with all of the paintings. And this sticker is absolutely amazing. First of all, you get the gorgeous picture. You get all the information on the painting itself, which name Little Red Ride, or sorry, Red Riding Hood. Uh, the shape is round. It has a V's in it which stands for Aurora Borealis, which means the Northern Lights. And they just give off the most beautiful incandescent, iridescent shimmer. It's almost holographic and makes every diamond around them shine twice as hard. The measurements of this painting, which I do have a small space, so I'm gonna have to unroll it a little bit by a little bit to show it to you, is 22 inches by 30 inches um inches and 56 by 76 centimeters and that is all the colors and it is 40 colors okay i bought this back in may 15. diamond art club has an easy way of telling on their boxes a way of telling whether a a box is a painting is square or circle now this must have been when they were just redoing it this is purple but there is either like a reddish color or a blue color stripe and i think like the reddish color red round and then blue is purple and it's either a circle if it's a round or a square if it's a square but this is a round and I just noticed this. I unpacked this three times tonight, shook this around, and I just realized I did not get a kit with this. And I literally opened this from the plastic. I may have to do this without one of the kits that come with it, or I'll have to dig one out. Let's see what I can come up with real quick. Um, this is a booklet. If you are new to diamond painting, this is the easy step-by-step -step instructions for Diamond Art Club. Oh, by the way, as of January, I will link the information right now. This painting is in stock and is available if you would like to get it. Because they do sell out at different times. Diamond Art Club is crazy with trying to help you save money on their paintings. They are great. There is, the reason why I flipped that paper back real quick is because there is a code on here for a percentage off your next painting. There are codes everywhere. There is a code on your packing slip. There's a code on the bottom of the painting. There are codes all over the internet, everything. But these are the nine easy steps to diamond painting, which if anyone would like to since I'm new to vid doing videos, if you're new to diamond painting, maybe we can start something new together. If you want me to do a series on how to begin to diamond paint, I'd be happy to do that. Okay, so there's your step-by-step -step instructions. The box it came in. Okay, first I think I'm going to go through the colors this time because they're kind of on top. With Hanalyn paintings, they're very, they're originally from coloring, a lot of people buy her coloring books, but they're very rich and almost comic book like, and they have a lot of the, the inking look to them. They're, they're 
are so rich with color and to do that you have to have a lot of deep colors so for those of you who've been around diamond painting for a while or Hannah Lynn know there's a lot of black involved and the, the code for black is 310 the DMC code for black is 310 for Diamond Art Club and for a lot of places so and these are the big bags of diamonds. Diamond Art Club does them by weight, not so many per package. You don't end up with 35 of packages of one color. You only have 50 per package. These go by weight and they're so much easier this way. But there are four packages right here of 310 and one of 438. You know what, let me zoom in a little bit. Sorry, in a second. Oh. And three of this chocolatey brown color that is $37.71. Let me zoom in a little bit just so you can see the colors a little bit better. So we're getting used to the camera too. Okay. Sorry if that made you dizzy. Up. Oh, more 310. Two more bags. So that's. 10 packs total. Let me check the drill quality while we're here. Wow. I don't know if you can see this in all these dark drills because the dark drills are the ones where you usually have the problems. These are perfect looking. There aren't even any of the little divots that are common in even high quality diamond paintings. These drills look great. And this one is 938, a deep chocolatey brown. Ooh, a deep cranberry color, 814, 321, oh, two 321s, ooh, a Christmassy green, 890, another cranberry color, 815, oh, a little bit deeper, a sandy color, this is 3024, <laughs> everyone's favorite color, 666. This is a nice minty 9.55, a nice Christmas tree green 6.99, a nice sandy beachy beigey 7.12, a brownish grayish color 6.42, 9.54, 7.00, 8.38, 8.44, 7.01, and 7.54. Oh, we have a straggler in there. Someone's not practicing social distancing. Oh, trying to find it in there. Looks like a blue, and I don't even see any blues anyone nearby. That one traveled far from home. <laughs> I know that people say that too, but it's true. That one went, that one's far away from home. Oh, I already see some of the ABs. Now, this is what I was talking about. These are the ABs. These are the amazing, gorgeous ABs. These things make your painting shine. They are amazing. This is color 134. It's like a medium green AB. And it has shining colors I see of yellow, blue, purple, green, I, hopefully you can see what I can see, but they're always prettier in person. This is $8.91, a nice royal blue, $7.96, I'm sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm in the camera here, $6.40, dollars 38 dollars $38.60, $38.43, <gasps> the other AB, look at that color! <gasps> I'm in love with that color. It's 137. All the ABs of Diamond Art Club, this doesn't go for other companies, but they are all under 150. But look at that gorgeous blue color. It just has every other color in it. I can see every other color from yellow to green to blue. Oh, everything. That, that's just gorgeous. I, I can't, I'm so excited for that color. 519, 
208. Oh, I love this pink bubblegum color. 894, lighter pink bubblegum. 805 or 605, can't really tell. I think that's 805. Uh, 185. And 209. Okay, now the fun part. Now, don't forget about these shiny, gorgeous blue and green AVs because they are sprinkled throughout the entire painting. Let me just move everything out of the way. I realized I didn't get a kit with this package. I can kind of show you what's in one by the box, or it might be on the side. There are also the steps on the back of the box, you know, the easy steps. I am going to have to talk to them, but it says in the kit, it comes with a blue pen like this, a squishy, a clear tray, the cutest little heart waxes, a couple extra baggies, usually something called a multi-placer. Lately, they've been getting really good in putting in these thin four multi-placers, which are the best multi-placers. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. But for some reason, I'll have to contact their customer service because I didn't get a kit in here, which is really strange. That's the first time that has ever happened to me. For a little while, back in May, they were testing out giving out this kind of paper for the people who don't like the clear plastic over their diamond paintings. This is like a freezer paper or a parchment paper. This is not wax paper. Never use wax paper on a canvas. It will melt and destroy your painting and it'll just dissolve the glue. It's just, ugh. So, parchment paper. You, or, or you can buy paper on Amazon or whatever, but for a while they were including it if you wanted to switch out this clear plastic cover. Now I get to show you the gorgeous painting because I am in love with this painting. I'm going to roll it out a little bit by a little bit. Let me get the paper out of the way. That schematic, that color list, is on the upper left up here so if you're working in this area because this is a really big painting so if you're working in this area and you need to double check a color and a symbol it's there and look at these eyes oh I gotta zoom you guys back out I'm sitting here talking to you and you can't even see what I'm pointing at so let me zoom oh no that's in let's try zooming out okay so what I was showing you was the schematic over here is here and it's up here and it's down on the bottom right. I'll show you when we get to that. Um, like I said, it will help you check, but I am in love with this. There are things in this picture. When you open up a diamond art club, you find things that you didn't see in the picture when you bought it. There are so many beautiful surprises that add so much depth and texture like I would have never thought of having a rainbow pastel tree this is truly an enchanted forest with the big moon oh I might add some glow in the dark circle ABs I have in that big giant moon these like bright green those are those shiny AB colors her entire eyes are the AB colors of green and blue her hair is that same pastel rainbow make as if she's one with the forest and let's move down a little bit she's got her cute little corset corset on her bows her cute little gloves looking totally chic her of course her fabulous cape and hood her basket for grandma's house and as we move down we get to one of the cute parts, the puppies, the middle wolves. Oh, I, I just, I, it takes my breath away seeing these little puppies. This one's so cute. He's got his little foot up in the air, howling at the moon. Looks like there's even a little toy over here. And the little tail's curled around her foot. And this one over here, this little wolf, 
She, she, I don't know I'm saying she, but it could be a he. They both have cute little heart collars. I wonder if I could get some red ABs to do their, I might get some red ABs to do their little heart collars and her lipstick. Just, just, you know, dazzle her up a bit. But she looks like she's a little bit nervous looking around like, oh, I don't know, I think that big bad wolf might be coming sometime soon. But ever since I was a little girl, wolves meant a lot to me. My grandfather used to tell us stories and tease me and he was part Native American and I, I just think of him when I see wolves and my youngest son, his little stuffed animal is named Woofy because, because of my grandfather. I'm sorry, I'm getting all like teary eyed. Okay. One of these days I am going to have to sit and do a whip and chat with you guys where, which, you know, I'll show new people how to do it, how to do the painting. And I will let you guys know what happens. Although I do have extra kits from Diamond Art Club from doing other paintings about the fact that there wasn't a kit in this painting and I did unseal this tonight. It just took me a few tries to take the video. Um, well, I just wanted to bring up one more thing because, oh, I'm sorry. I also wanted to show you there is a lifetime guarantee. There is an oops guarantee for if you spill any of your diamonds or a couple pop off, you know, couple years from now you can write diamond art club well email them whatever and say hey you know I lost a few diamonds or I dumped a bunch of diamonds or something's wrong and contact them and they are great they have all their social information down here there is a code somewhere down here for your next painting for money off on it and in this corner it says the information again that was on the sticker. Diamond Art Club, Red Riding Hood, it has ABs in it, it's 22 by 30 inches, 56 by 76 centimeters, it's made with Hamelin's permission in conjunction with Diamond Art Club. They are the only ones that legally can sell her diamond paintings like this. So she is getting paid for her work and you are not supporting a company that is stealing an artist's work. 